energy-efficient aircraft wings morphing with artificial intelligence, engines for the green aviation fuels of the future, measuring noise and climate effects of aircraft. These are some examples of work we do at the Faculty of Aerospace Engineering at TU Delft to make aviation sustainable. Welcome on this virtual lab tour. We aim at a future in which aviation is climate neutral. Our drive, aviation contributes to a large extent to the well-being and prosperity of people all over the world. But at the same time, it contributes to climate change. And if we do not act quickly, this negative contribution will continue to rise exponentially. Of course, making conscious choices of when and how to travel is part of the deal. But as TU Delft engineers, we also believe that with our knowledge, innovation and education, we can contribute to a large extent in tackling the daunting challenge of climate neutral aviation. Come on in, we have no time to waste. Thank you. So, step one is to make aircraft as energy efficient as possible. Let's meet some of the people who are working on this. Hello and welcome to the low turbulence tunnel. In this tunnel we test innovative aerodynamic and wing configuration as well as propulsion systems and wind energy systems. Right now in the wing tunnel we have a swept wing that we use to improve and investigate innovative aerodynamic configurations. In this way we can have a longer portion of laminar flow, improving the wing efficiency and reducing drag, pollution and fuel consumption when flying. That's interesting, Julia. Sherry, what are you working on? Today I'm working on the Smart X wing, which is an active morphing wing that can adapt its shapes to different flight conditions and missions, just like birds do. By actively adapting the wing shape, we can reduce the energy consumption by up to 30% and contributing greatly to sustainable aviation. We are testing the wing here in the Dynamics Lab. Great stuff, Sherry. A bit further, in the same hall, we develop the revolutionary Flying V. It's designed to save 20% on fuel consumption compared to current state-of-the-art long-haul aircraft, just a result of improved aerodynamics and reduced weight. Flying V is also a platform for testing innovative technology, a flying scale model and a program in the flight simulator, allowing pilots to do test flights already. Saving energy is only part of the solution. We want aviation to run completely on sustainable energy and propulsion technologies. We focus on long-haul flights in large aircraft because these have the largest climate impact. For new fuels and energy carriers, such as synthetic kerosene and hydrogen, we need clean combustion technologies. Rishikesh explains. Welcome to the Clean Combustion Lab. Over here, we are developing combustion technologies for low NOx and CO emissions. What you see running over here is the flameless combustor. Flameless combustion is a regime in which the reactions occur in a distributed manner. This regime also enables us to operate with extremely lean fuel-air ratios. We not only work with conventional fuels, but also sustainable fuels such as hydrogen. With the energy transition round the corner, I'm really looking forward to my contribution to sustainable aircraft by the development of clean combustion technologies. In addition to our work on aircraft design and propulsion, we also work on sustainable operations, such as sustainable airports in healthy environments, including clean ground operations and sustainability-focused air traffic management systems. Clark, tell us more. Welcome at the Air Traffic Control Laboratory. In this lab, we can study new ways of how humans and automation can work together as a team in order to better balance the workload of a controller while at the same time increase the efficiency of the airspace in order to minimize the fuel burn of an aircraft. 
To design new aircraft, propulsion technology and operations, we need to do the basics. With atmospheric models, we calculate the effects of CO2 and other harmful emissions from aviation on our climate, nature and health. And we want to tackle noise pollution. Bika, can you tell us more about that? Hi, I'm Bika, and I would like to show you the acoustic camera that enables us to see sound. So what does that mean? Basically, it enables us to see where exactly a sound source is. Maybe it's the landing gear or the flaps, but how does this work? Each of those bulbs actually contains a microphone that makes 112 microphones in total. Now, if we use all of these microphones together with the video from the optical camera that is in the center, we can accurately map a noise source. The ultimate goal of this data is in the end to use it for designing aircraft with lower noise annoyance for humans. That sounds great, Bika. Now back to the design of aircraft. We also work on minimizing the impact of aircraft materials and structures on our planet. Condition-based maintenance, for example, prevents unnecessary waste, as do using circular, bio-based and biodegradable aerospace materials. We also look at sustainable production methods. Hi Bram, what is your research about? Welcome in the Composite Welding Laboratory. In this lab, we perform research on welding technologies for thermoplastic composites. Welding is a very clean technology that makes use of heat and pressure to fuse two parts together. And in this lab, we developed our continuous ultrasonic welding technology, which is very new, very efficient and very, very fast. Welding can make aerospace structures lighter, smarter and cleaner. Additive manufacturing can do so as well. Let's find out how and meet Canal. Hi, I'm Kunal Masanya, I'm Associate Professor in the Faculty and welcome to the 3D Printing Lab. Here we try to replicate the intricate designs of materials that you find in nature using 3D printing technologies. And we exploit nanoscale self-assembly together with shaping freedom of additive manufacturing to realize next generation sustainable aviation materials. Here we focus mostly on fundamental science and what's really exciting is that we can collaborate with the field lab SAMXL to quickly bring our ideas into implementation that can impact society in the future. That's fascinating. I'm sure our researchers at TU Delft will be making a valuable contribution. Am I right? Absolutely. Together with our partners in and beyond the aviation sector, our researchers, students and startups are working incredibly hard to come up with innovative and realistic solutions. Making aviation sustainable is no easy task at all, but we believe it can be done. And we need to, so that aviation can continue to connect the world for future generations in a sustainable world. Let's get back to work.